two guys just filling in. But we'll get underway. This is short. It's a break. And it's England's Jack Whelan to come to the table here after the dry break. Best of five frames only in the singles and in this mixed doubles actually which does make it somewhat of a lottery but good to get these players just playing some pool I suppose not scotch doubles as we're used to be seeing on the nine ball circuit where it's alternating shot. This is alternating visit between partners. I think it should be alternating shot, makes it much more interesting. That's my opinion. Jack on the finish here though. And negotiated as well itself well around the table here. But not with that shot. Not a very good shot there from Jack. He's flicking his fingers, looks up to the heavens, looks at his partner. Wonder if he can do something in here off. Let's just try to leave it in the open and leave the cue ball tight on the ball cushion. left the cue ball in behind the yellows there would have been a better outcome because I think Jack can see this red now to the middle black is well it's not really tied up but it's going to be tricky to get on it from here it's going to have to do a little bit of travelling with the cue ball not when you play it that way great shot into the corner rather than the middle bag which is where I thought he was playing Yeah, good finish there from Jack Whelan to give Hurston Whelan a 1-0 lead. Not quite sure.
Jack lagged. Soft break, first one we've seen. It's almost like watch Andy Lucas. Jack really paying attention to the game that he's playing. He's just telling me that uh, Mick Hill and Lynette Hawes have been beaten in their mixed doubles match. Apparently, Mick Hill is absolutely wrecked. Right, this one includes all four players. I didn't know that, this frame. John Chambers sat with me as well now. Looks like he's about to just nod off any second. Which bodes well for his singles match in about 20 minutes. Oh yeah, eight minutes according to the clock, mate, but you know. <laughs> yeah, so this one involving all four players, as I said, with the alternating visit in this frame. No, it's actually alternating shot, I didn't realise. I wish people had explained things before they start to me. It makes me look a right fool. Double there from Sam, leaves Jack on a ball to the corner. This is how I think it should have been played right from the beginning, just lag once play, alternating shot all the way through, best of five. Yellow to the right corner then, Sam just cues through the ball nicely, a little bit of top spin, leaves Jack to the middle, just run this cue ball forward off the one rail, or two. Left her a little bit straight on this yellow, might have to settle for just leaving the cue ball where it is. Yeah. 
good queuing then from Jack required to put them through to the next round. Well, he's got down, he's knocked it in well. It was a 3 0 victory then over short and sweet after about an hour's wait for some live pool. They've wrapped it up in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So, not sure what's next. But of course, I will keep you posted.